start of a nationwide campaign by unions for a 40-hour week, this procession in Sydney includes thousands of workers headed by returned servicemen. The banners and flutes provide a gala interest for onlookers, many of whom are experiencing the shortest possible working week. No work at all, as a result of coal and power restrictions. Some of the floats are especially constructed for the occasion, but others merely utilize existing transport to drive home the message. By the time the procession reaches the gates of the Sydney domain, the crowd swells to 15,000 people who gather to hear union and parliamentary speakers give their views on the subject. Though sympathetic to the demand for a 40-hour week, Mr Chifley has formally said that to reduce the working week at present would seriously interfere with the national economy. Some speakers get mixed receptions, but there's a welcome for the Minister of Transport, Mr Ward, who feels right at home. The domain is in his electorate.